My name is Jacob. I'm from J Sport Performance. I'm the sales director at J Sport. I uh, wanted to do a quick walk around, show you some of the rigs that we did for Overland Expo, which is where we are right now in Flagstaff, Arizona. Um, it is Saturday, second day of the show. We've been actually camping in these rigs while we've been here. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so we did a couple of small tweaks to these silver passports I'm going to show you right behind me. Um, and then I'll take you after this to our show rig, which is actually in Honda's booth. Um, on these, we kept it pretty simple. Uh, just the, the subtle touches that you'd want to see on a rig to get you a little bit further than you would on stock equipment. Um, so nothing all that major, uh, just kind of the right things for the person getting into the hobby. Uh, we started with our wheel and tire package using our 18 inch pre-run wheel. Uh, these wheels are actually the only wheel on the market that is truly hub centric for Honda's uh, application. So we use these a lot on our ridge lines and pilots. Uh, we went with an 18 inch here, finished in satin black. Um, beyond that, we went and uh, we actually developed a version three of our J Sport side steps. Uh, these are kind of a, a rock slider slash side step. Uh, they do provide some protection. They're steel construction and uh, finished in a nice powder coat. Beyond that, um, the only other thing besides these wheels, tires, and side steps that we put on these cars is our skid plate. Uh, the skid plate is specifically designed to protect the oil pan, which is one of the most sensitive areas on the underside of the vehicle. Um, so with those things, we're able to kind of take this and, and make it a, a formidable overlander. Um, we actually coupled it as well, as you can see, with a roof nest rooftop tent. Uh, we've been using those since our SEMA build last year and had great experiences. So yeah, that's our, our build, if you will. Here you can see it in all of its glory. All right, so here we are. This is the actual show itself. We're actually in the uh, motorcycle section, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna show you the show rig that we did for Honda here. Uh, it's actually parked next to our SEMA build from last year. You'll see the ridge line over there. Um, we did a really similar treatment to this passport, uh, but we took things we learned from the SEMA build, things we wanted to improve, and um, just kind of made it suit the nature of the passport a little bit as well. Um, we gave it our signature treatment, if you will. All of the things that are uh, quintessential to J-Sport, uh, the wheels, the tires, the side steps, the skid plate, um, the lift kit, all of those things are on this vehicle as well as a couple of new goodies as well. Um, so starting at the beginning, we'll show the wheel and tire setup we did on here. Much like those silver cars you'll have seen, um, on this one we actually ran a, a bit of a bigger tire to see what we could get away with. Uh, these 265s do rub just ever so slightly, uh, so we may find a different size or uh, a different tire setup uh, to see how much we can get away with, but we'd like to do more than the 255s. Uh, the beautiful part about the Passport is it's actually an inch taller than the Ridgeline and Pilot from stock. Um, we went beyond that and we did an inch and a half in the front and three quarters of an inch in the rear of lift. Um, so when you put that all together, uh, we're going to see how much tire we can get away with. And we're confident we can do at least a little bit more than we do on a Ridgeline and Pilot. Um, you'll also see our V3 side steps here. Uh, they look amazing on this finish. Uh, they actually match a lot of the black trim on the car as well. Um, beyond that, we did our plateau roof rack, which we debuted on the Ridgeline last year at SEMA. Uh, this one has been obviously developed longer and uh, specified to fit the Passport. Um, they are similar products, but this plateau is specific to the car. They don't, uh, they're not interchangeable, I should say. Uh, the next thing, probably one of the most exciting things on here is this front bumper. Uh, so we created this front bumper um, as kind of a brush pusher, um, integrated skid plate. It is a, a steel construction built to be rugged and it's mounted to some frame points so that it is actually incredibly secure on there. Uh, we actually in integrated a light bar as well. So you'll see uh, we have the 10 inch bar centered there. Uh, we have two ambers on the side, and there's actually some internal daytime running ambers uh, which are inside of that LED light bar you'll see in the center. Um, we've integrated it to work with the factory lighting, 
Uh, for certain sequences, uh, there's all kinds of modularity you can do as to when you turn these on, and uh, they're totally usable. And having them slung out here in the front makes them fantastic uh, for driving off-road. Uh, we also included underneath that, be a little difficult to show you on this video, but we do have our skid plate underneath as well to protect the oil pan. Uh, then you'll see the roof nest installed. We love, love, love some roof nests. And the, uh, the final touch here on this build is actually at the back. Um, we developed this specifically for the build and it's been received incredibly well. This is our rear tire carrier. This is a full-size spare, and it's actually built on a hinge, so it can swing out, so you can still access your trunk. And we mounted this to the frame in some of the same spots where the hitch mounts. By doing that, we were able to allow you to still be able to use your hitch to tow. You'll just need a longer tongue, of course. Um, we integrated as well another small reverse light here. Automatically comes on when you put the vehicle in reverse to give you a little bit more light. It is compatible with roto packs in this setup, and as you'll see, we can hinge out completely, and it'll actually lock in that open position, so that you don't have to worry if you're on an incline uh, of it swinging back toward the vehicle. Um, all of the parts you see on this passport are either currently in production or will be in production soon. Um, so. If you want to pre-order these now, depending on when you see this video, um, get in touch with us at JSport or uh, within the next month, two months, all these items will be listed on our site and available for sale um, and in many of our Honda dealerships. So check us out. If you have any questions about the build, always send us an email, that kind of stuff. Follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much.